That's R R D D W A A. I'm a raider with an attitude. R R D D W A A. I'm a raider with an attitude. If you first will pop out, then you most likely to win. See, I'm a raider with an attitude. Living in sin, I got a sword and a grin. It's just protecting my races, bitch ass motherfuckers. Get the fuck out my face. I'm about to give them a taste. So people said to explode, and these fools ain't fucking winning. That's why they call them cowboys. And what's this bucket in the stands? Don't he's making crowd noise. They could eat on this when they take their air poison. I'm a calling like a singer. Watch me do as I please. Raider Nation, California, like the smoke of them trees. And I'm a toast to my G's while I'm slapping these fleas. I don't fuck with cheese and dogs. That's why I'm crossing out seas. Raider Nation over everything. I make them believe. Before the game even starts, I'm already making them leave. From the culture to the colors, homies, this is my life. I let the whole world know this. And welcome back to the Silver and Black Radio Podcast. I'm your host, Raider Will. And after Raider Nation has just gone in there to Kingdom Country, or whatever the fuck they want to be called, and we stole their win like the Grinch, and get in there and we stole their presence. We go in there with the W. Guys, what a defensive battle. Hey, first of all, guys, let me introduce the crew. I am here with the Misfit Cartel, baby. I got my girl, Val, from TVH Dallas. I got my boy, Tony B, from TVH Spokane. You know? I got my boy, Olin Daniels, from TVH Dallas. What's up? And, of course, the co-captain of this ship. Hey, my main man, Matty B. The VP of TBH, Western Colorado. What up, fam? Yo, family, what a game. We are sitting here. We were talking about it. Guys, defensive battle. We go in there. Yeah. We had, it was game for the ages. Where you sit there and you sat at the edge, edge of your seat. You watched all four quarters of the game because Patty Mahomes was just getting his butt whooped. <laughs> All four quarters, guys. We had dogs all over the field. It was just an enjoyable game. Guys, fill me in. Let, let's start with Val. Val, go ahead, girl. So let me just say that um, I the game started about an hour before my kids were getting picked up from, you know, from their dad or their dad was going to pick them up. And I spent that last hour just yelling at the TV. I was so excited. I was just like, I don't know. I it was, I, it was great. I loved it. I loved every minute of this game. It was an actual game. Like our defense, one hundred percent. That's a lot of my credit goes to our defense. I mean, who else gets two touchdowns in seven seconds? Hey, hasn't been done in a long he time. Stepped up. My my dad and my brother, both Titan fans, uh, very devoted to them, were even like, are we watching the Raiders? Is this happening right now? Like, they were literally shocked. And they're like, what is going on? And I was just, like, so happy because I was like, yeah, you know? It's like, it was it was shocking for sure. But it was a good game. I, I just, I loved watching every minute of it. Oh, that was awesome, girl. Yo, Matty B, what were your thoughts, my brother? Man. Fucking great game. Um, defense killed it, man. They came out there. They put it to them. They said, you know, they stopped the magic trick. They stopped the magician. They said, and, and it was a great feeling. It was a good Christmas present. That's all I got all year. <laughs> hey, yo, all in. What's your thoughts, my brother? One sec, sorry. <laughs> Man, defense, 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 baby. Yes, defense sir. wins championships. Defense wins games. I really thought it was going to take a special teams uh, uh, play to win that win that game. But uh, defense, 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 man. Jack Jones might be might be steal the waiver wire. You know what? Hey, Jack Jones, who? Jack yeah. Jones, bro. <laughs> That's all I say, baby, right now. Hey, you Yo. called it, man. Koontz has stepped up big. Bro. Big time. Big time. Three Five sacks. sacks in two weeks. 
Ooh, and three sacks in this game. Ooh. Yeah. Bro, the only person to sack Mahomes three times in a game, man. Come on now. Yeah. Give him some credit, yep. man. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you're, you're not lying, brother. He he balled out for us. Yo. Facts. Yes, like, sir. fine wine, baby. Yo, Tony B. I, I know you was messaging me off game, so hit me with it, baby. Finally, a game that we maintain all the way through. Now, we, we're always talking about sustaining, like, the intensity, getting the, the the whole game. I'm like, they're playing. Like, from both sides of the ball, we was playing. They were they were in people's face. I mean, when he had that pick six and he looks back at Mahomes, I instantly went, you might not want to do that. But then they backed it up. They, they, I was like, like the announcer said, don't poke the bear. We poked that bear. We stomped on him and took. Dude, we was in his, you know, gosh, it was something else. I'll tell you what, I was so, I'm standing up. I'm screaming at the TV. Same thing at my house. No one around. My neighbors probably think I'm a crazy guy. I say, hey, Raiders are on. Shut your face. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Backyard. Yeah. I watch the TV in the backyard, and I know my neighbors hear me. So they're like, oh, there's Raider Val. And I'm like, whatever. Right. No, you they ain't don't... lying, man. Yo, I was yelling hey. so loud. I think all my neighbors, like, I ruined their Christmas videos. And for that, <laughs> here we go. But tell you like this. Hey, I was at a family event. I said, okay, cool. My mom is watching me on the couch. And she's like, you look like you're having fucking convulsions right now. Like, <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, oh. Bro, and I'm going to tell you like this. I finally felt that we were in this game and we were in control. Like, our defense was out there regulating, bro. Just regulating Patty Mahomes. I mean, hey, when's the last time you ever seen Patty Mahomes besides the week with the referees where he started crying saying like, oh, you know, like about the refs, where he's that frustrated. In the first quarter, I was like, we already got three sacks, two sacks. It, it was it was insane. It started from the first drive, guys. From the first That's drive. Right, man. It, it, it was a, it a, was a so nice. Hey, let's not forget Travis Kelsey throwing his little temper tantrum on the sideline too, guys. Come on. Give oh, him credit. Yeah. <laughs> and then no. got yeah. bump. he got flexed on by Andy Reid like Chess yeah, bumped him like, no. looked at him like, like he probably what are you went do? back to the room and beat Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, I saw Tw- Hey, the best things was when you see her emotions when the camera goes to her and she's like, <gasps> and I'm like, yeah. yes, yes, One yes. One, One more time, baby, let's get it. Yo, guys. hey, for once, uh, for once, I felt like if we gave the ball. Back to Patty, the defense could hold their own. Oh, yeah, you ain't lying you know, there, bro. You know, because you always, you always feel like, oh, man, 2021 is a perfect example when we lost that game at home and gave them the ball back for like a minute and a half or whatever it was. I, I did not feel like, hey, man, if we give them the ball, that's a bad move at all on Monday. I didn't think so either. I mean, like, Confidence hey. in the defense. We usually all watch the game together, man. And I mean, like, you've been in games where, hey, we're sitting here, we're yelling at each other. Right? Right. And we're like, man, you feel like, yo, the pressure is out. You can't fucking do things. And it's like, oh, man, they're going to score. They're going to score. Yo, in this game, I-, I was looking at it, and I'm, like, watching the TV, and I'm like, yo. I mean. We're going to eat that dude up. Is I mean, yep. I mean I'm, not, I'm not hating on it, but, I mean, our defense – I mean, that's the best I've seen them play all year, I think, honestly, to tell you the truth. That's the best they've played in I mean, the last 10 years. Our offense not being able to throw a pass and complete a pass after the first quarter and still win a game tells you a lot about how far our defense has come. Yeah. And I mean, like, if you just think about it. Guys, when's the last time you guys ever heard of a team winning but only completing nine passes? For 62 yards. For 62 yards, and they stopped completing passes in the first quarter. Right. Insane, right? So, 
guys, let's talk about a little bit about our defense. All right. So, hey, here's some things that I picked up that we saw, okay? First of all, first quarter. Never seen the Chiefs get held at negative 18 yards total. I mean, insane. We scored 14 points, okay? We got Jack Jones, pick six. Seven seconds later, Benal Nichols picks up that fumble, takes it to the house, like Val said. We got Koontz, like All In said, hey, he woke up. He had three sacks. He had a ton of pressures. Adam Butler had another sack. I mean, the inside, bro, Spillane had nine tackles. Hobbs had nine tackles. Amik had five tackles. And I'm going to tell you like this. The leader of the misfit army out there, bro, only had to have two tackles all game. He created a ton of pressure. But Max Crosby, our leader, only had two tackles. That, to me, means, A, Every other single player on that field came to play on defense. Val, quick thoughts on defense, girl. Huh? How'd that defense make you feel? It made me feel good because before the game started and as the game was starting, they were talking about how like they've been impressed with the defense the last game. And the defense has really stepped up. And it really excited me because when was the last time, like, you really hear anybody talk really good, you know, like, impressed with us? I mean, with the changes and just kind of like our little, you know, up and downs. But it was just, it just felt good. And I just, I don't know, I had a feeling a good game and you know what i think probably because just show joe was there you know but hey, is he there is he there right now not next to me he in a minute he will be all right hey when he comes in i want you to ask him a quick question for us okay i want him i want him to, or ask him this one how quiet was that stadium when he left and how good it felt to yell raiders you know what? As he left, he told oh, he told me, but I'll let him tell you because, I mean, and I Facetimed him after the game, like before I went to bed, actually twice, and both times I feel like the only word he knew was Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his line. I saw really? his line. Raiders. Raiders. So, but yeah. defense, I mean, they really held. They really held up their end. They pushed. They they fought hard, and it was it was it was nice. Man, hey, what? Tony B, that's on our defense. It. It. It's, it's almost like it's breathtaking because like. It finally got to a spot where I felt comfortable with them not having, you know, like with them on defense being out there and going, we'll be okay. Like, even though Patrick Mahomes comes back, you know, all these times, he makes all these miraculous comebacks, there was confidence that it ain't going to happen today. You know, the Raider Nation deserves this Christmas present. And Santa Claus brought us our goodies on a silver platter. And I'll tell you what, that defense was just running around with like ruthless aggression. I'll tell you what, they were just, Ooh. just out there, just cracking. Like they played the whole time. They were high. They looked like, and man, it made me feel like when Marshawn was dancing on the sideline. Like they just were playing with like, they're just out there just doing their thing. And it was just, I don't care who's watching. Here we go. We might be a little dirty, but guess what? You're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, like, you're absolutely correct. We were super physical, super aggressive, and the passion was just oozing out of their freaking, like, out of their mind. So, hey, all in. Give me your thoughts, baby, on that defense. Hey, you set the tone first play of the game. I loved going on defense first. 
I love deferring the ball and getting it in the second half. But I love defense sets the tone, and they did that. They had Patty shook. Oh, and you know, like we said earlier, and like Tony just touched on, first time, and I can't tell you how long we didn't have to worry about the about the defense and giving the ball back to the other team. No, absolutely. I, I was just confident the whole game, man. They they set the tone. Like AP said, they were violent. That's what defense yeah. is right there. Kept them hand on them necks. Yeah. Oh, we were relentless, and There was a man. few times I, I was like, oh, they're going to get us for a late hit. And they just let it go, man. They let us play. Oh, no, absolutely, man. Hey, Maddie B, baby. Thoughts on that D? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, it's the I think that's the best I've seen them play all year as a, as a solid defensive unit. You know, um, they they hurried to the quarterback. They got to him when they needed to. They kept him running the whole time. They disrupted passes. They, you know, they the, the pick six again. You know, I think what our last out of our last five touchdowns, four of them are defensive touchdowns. Um. You know, and two, uh, and they're both they're the same. You know, one's a defensive lineman, and one's that one's an interception by Jack Jones, and that's two times back to back games that that's happened. So that is just that's amazing. You know, like I haven't, I was you would never expect that from our defense so, from oh, what we were at the beginning of this year and last year to compared to these last couple of weeks that uh, AP's taken over and Patrick Graham doing what he's been doing up in the box. Um, I mean, man. He's the then, guy. He's, he's playing good with his team, and he's got it. You know, like I said, he's one of the cheapest defenses, and we great out there right now. You know, I would, I'd be afraid to face this team in the playoff. Scary. Well, right now, I'm oh, telling you this. Go ahead, go ahead, all go ahead. Miami don't want us. Oh, no, we're pissed off now. We already lost to him once. We won't do it. I'm going to tell you right now. I keep messaging everybody, and guys, we have a big chat that goes on crazy. Hey. We look like the O one Ravens. Okay. I'm telling you, we are starting to look that scary. And Patrick Graham is painting some masterpieces out there. He, we got to sit there as Raider Nation and enjoy what our defense is doing to people. Okay. We are literally ripping out their hearts and taking it out of their bodies. <laughs> I'm just stomping on these offenses and giving it to them. Guys, Raider Nation needs to enjoy this. I have not seen this since the 2002 team that went to the Super Bowl. Okay? Yep. We need to sit back and realize that we are watching a master of his craft do something, and you got to give that man his props because at last year, Everybody was calling for this man's head. And now, bro, it, we are firing on all cylinders. And we are getting scared. But all right, guys, let's move on. A hey, special teams. Guys, not a bad performance, not a great performance. My opinion, you know, hey, I didn't like the fumble by DeAndre Carter. Kind of scared me. you know. I'd like to see more ball security there. But Legler, I mean, like, hey, what can you say? Hey, hey, we did get caught on that fake punt. But I'm going to tell you like this. That was a good one, fellas. So, hey. Hey, he was covered, too. I mean, it was just a it was just a good play, man. I mean, you got you to gotta give it up when it, hey, it is what ball it is. Only that guy could catch it. You know? So it yeah. wasn't like he wasn't covered with wide open. He had to slide for the ball. Yeah, he made a hell of a catch. It was a hell of a catch. But I, For sure. We got, hey, that was definitely a – I'm going to tell you like this. I am impressed as well because uh, we talked about it in the, on the link or in our messages. Guys, Kansas City threw everything but the kitchen sink at us. I'd be like, I have never seen a team use so many trick plays to try to get mental. Special teams, you know, we made big stops. We did stuff like that. I'd be like, well, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Hey, Tony B, thoughts on special teams? It, it, with the, with the, even with the fake punt it, and, uh, and a little bit on the special teams, a little bit on the defense with the, the fumble return, it showed desperation. 
it showed that they knew what they were dealing with because there was something different about what was going on out there. It wasn't the normal, hey, we're just going to take it. Like, we stood up to Big Brother, you know what I'm saying? And we sat there and we're like, we, we threw hands back. And we were, we were ready to go. We took those lumps, you know, and we were like, you know what? We're, we're done. We're done playing. And it just showed, like, one lapse of judgment and a very, very good executed play. Like, the play was great. The fake punt, you know, they get it. Hats off. That was good stuff. But when special teams isn't, like, the focal point, that's good because that means everything else is shining and we don't need to rely. And we don't want to hear that, oh, that we punt, we gave up that big punt return. I would like to get the punt return, but if as long as special teams is quiet, I'm okay with that because that means the offense and defense is going better. Yep. I mean, like, it's good. It, it was great, man. I mean, like, it's like you said, hey, where there's a lot of little things that we can fix. We didn't do a bad job, but, hey, we can improve. Oh, I see. That was, <laughs> that was, <laughs> I see she's busy. Hey, so. Guys. Hi. <laughs> hey, Val. <laughs> yeah, you can hear us. Hey. So, Val, offense, right? We st- we're still struggling a little bit, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you like this. One, I-, I want you to tell me like this. How did you feel about our running back, Zabir White? Well, he was putting in the work. I am a little disappointed like with our offense. Um but I mean I can't change it. I'm just really glad that our defense came through. But yeah, he did he did wonderful. I was excited and I was just like where's this guy been? I don't know. He our one two punch. Might found one two punch. Don't know, but I, you're right. He he did surprise me as well. He did a really good job. 143 yards from the line of scrimmage. Guys, hey, all in. Give me your thoughts on our offense, bro. Yeah, man. We're uh, why did it take this many games for Zeus to get going? Where the hell has he been? You know, we, that's what we expected coming out of Georgia as a second round pick. You know, yeah. two years ago. Passing game, I ain't got no words. I don't really know what the hell's wrong with it. Uh, Aiden, man, I felt like a- uh, AOC could have picked up some first downs with his legs. And he's just, he wasn't mobile in college. We can't expect him to be any kind of mobile now in the pros. He's not going to change that part of his game. Uh, just got to get better next week. Okay. Sure. Tony B. Thoughts on O. Thoughts on the all the offense is that I'm glad the defense was playing so well. Um, it, <laughs> the running game was good, and they said, "Where has he been? He's been behind the rightful starter." Um, in Josh he's Jacob. had his chances though, man, and when he's he had has his chances, chances, and whoever he, he hasn't did, produced. As whoever we get as the offensive coordinator can set up a good one-two offense, I can see him right. being very successful. I mean, he's a great running back, but I'm just hope I'm just hoping that they get some more. Go ahead, Val. I have a special guest. All right, let let's let's have him cut in real quick. I'll oh, plug it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the man, the bit, the legend, <laughs> SSJ. Raiders, bitch. <laughs> What's up, brother? Yes, Raiders. Uh, uh, dude, I can't do it, brother. <laughs> hey, so I do it, brother. I, I, we, we were talking with Val, brother. <laughs> You were at the game. You saw it live. 
Got the dub on my back. How was the juice? How how was the juice in the stadium, brother? What what was the the environment like? Um, harsh. At the start, it's always harsh in KC. At the start, but them bitches are soft, bro. Oh. They soft up. Soft as baby poop. Get uh. your got a hold of them, bro. They softened up. So after we start winning. Game over. Hey, they showed a couple aerial shots too, and it looked fucking pretty empty, especially in the upper sections. There's definitely it was, a lot of uh, black in the stadium. Like the the majority of the fourth quarter, fuck, they were funneling out. Shit, even early, like first second quarter, it looked pretty empty. I was kind of surprised on TV at least. So, Bandwagon fans at their at the finest. They saw. <laughs> Really? So, hey, I'm going to tell you like this. Hey, I saw that they started, like, booing this, their own guys. They turned on their own team. Mm-hmm. And they, they, it, how quick did that happen? When did you start hearing the boos inside the stadium towards their own guys? Halfway through the fourth. Halfway through the fourth, they were all, they're in the game. Yeah. And they're booing their guys. Hey, you can hear them booing at halftime on fucking TV. Yeah, they, they were going out to halftime. They thought he said. Hey, so what was the best thing about the trip, SSJ, before we let you go? Because I know that you got to get your voice back. Besides getting the win, besides getting the win. Going to Walmart Christmas Eve and talking shit to the KC fans in there. <laughs> Hey, we gotta make that a tradition. Everywhere we go, we gotta yeah. go to the WalMarts and start that, talking. That would go to the WalMarts because <laughs> they they were talking crap, and it was like, you know, the three of us were in there. We were getting beer, and we were getting some Sprite for Bandit, and you know, we we told them the way it was, Raiders, bitch. We come, <laughs> we come, and they didn't believe it. Guess what hey. happened? Big Great. dub. I saw you left Santa some. Uh... Cinnamon whiskey, and uh, what else did you leave them out? I, we'll, we'll have to make sure to leave the same gift out for next year. <laughs> the Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels, the uh, Fireball and Bud Light. Fireball yeah, Bud Light. I got I got me a little some some for Val and I. We I had to taste test a little bit. It was some uh, some cinnamon. No, it's apple. Oh, apple pie moonshine. Oh, I bet that. Oh, you you the liquor store? I was going to say, if you got to the liquor store, I've had that stuff. No, no. That's what KC Rainbow Nation gave you, right? Oh, the homemade? Okay. All right. That, nice. that was the warm up before the game. Oh, man. Hey, so who took care of you out there, SSJ? I got I to gotta give a shout out to Bandit, the DD. Bandit. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You heard it here, <laughs> fellas. Our shout out to our boy Bandit for taking care of SSJ all over downtown KC. <laughs> and Raider, Raider, Raider all over the place, baby. That was a good time, man. Classic. Two uh, days, well worth it. 800 miles. No, it was about 1,200 miles. Well worth it in two days. Pouring uh, rain on up there snowed on the way back well worth it you guys drive or fly i'd I'd do it again thanksgiving (laughs) last year for with the cowboys and this year for christmas with kansas city nothing nothing but like that i loved it loved it well, hey, SSJ, we're talking about going to New Orleans next year, so we hope to see you there, my brother. You already know. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like everybody's going to New Orleans. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I think we got to get the Raider train down there. Hey, <laughs> last year. Be last year all over again down there. It was a good fucking time. I got a little <laughs> bit of luck. Got a little bit of luck this year. 2-0 this year. Uh, we gotta bring the lucky SSJ wherever we go, baby. Oh, we'll party. <laughs> yes, go. sir. All right, go SSJ. Ready. 
Raiders, baby. We're going to let you go, brother. brother. (laughs) Raiders, bitch. (laughs) All right, guys. That was the man, the myth, the legend. SSJ. You guys got to follow him on his socials. He live streams a bunch of stuff. And if you know who he is, he'll always be flipping you off and telling you, Raiders, bitch. And fuck (laughs) you, FYJ. Okay. Now, guys. Let's get back to it. You know, we were talking about our offense. I think we were at Tony B. I did, you already got done wrapping up? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I was done with mine. I don't like okay. it. I mean, <laughs> we started talking about the the running game. But uh, I think, he, I think he, we he's doing good. B, and if we get the yeah. right offensive coordinator, we can set up a very good one-two punch. No, no. I agree with that. So, I mean – yeah, I'm, like I said last week, Zamir White, you know, he didn't score. They didn't score over 100 yards, you know, by themselves, but they, they showed up when they needed to. And, man, he, he sealed it with those two last runs that we had, man. And that was that was awesome because they were expecting the Chiefs to get the ball back. And he said, fuck you. And you're not getting it back. So, hats off to Zamir White, man. And he played a good game. Um, Offense, on the other hand, when I'm, you know, the rest of the offense is just, I think we still need that quarterback. I think that's our biggest need right now. And I'm not hating, like I said, I'm not hating on Aiden. I don't think he's a bad guy or anything, but still, it's either he needs a full off season and we build up our line to, to be able to play with his advantages. Because, I mean, you can't, you, you can't win games not being able to complete a pass after only one quarter. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we fix that and we get a, a decent – I mean, our play callers, like I said it last week, I just – I don't think he's that good. I just uh, – he's got the same game plan every week. Every week it's the same game plan if you look at it. And I just – I think we upgrade that position and I think we can actually do pretty good in this offense. I, offensive line coach and a good offensive coordinator, and I think we can get back on track with our team. Dude, every offensive coach – Needs to be firing every. If you an offensive coach, you gone. Yeah. Bring in the new one in every position. Yeah, keep everything that we have right now, minus the offensive coach, and I think an offensive line coach. I'm talking, I mean, I, I'm talking all the offensive coaches, line backs, receivers, quarterback. Fuck shit, can them all. We start fresh, right? But hey, I mean, what if there's an AP in there? You know what I mean? Like, what if there's a guy that's sitting back there? You know, so. Hey, guys, so let me hit you guys with this, okay? I'm going to go back to this. On offense, you guys are right. You're struggling throwing the football. But I'm going to tell you guys like this. In this game, our offensive line was moving people up front. We were absolutely physical at the point of attack. I'd be like, if you guys saw some of the holes we created, we did a good job on that. That's why yeah. I think Bear White had the ability to freaking run for 143 yards. A lot of people are going to say, hey, man, he got 63 of those yards in the fourth quarter. Guess what, baby? That's why the run game is invented. It's to seal the game in the fourth quarter so I could run the football, run the timeout, and I get that W. So I'm going to yep. tell you like this. Hey, on that aspect, we did an absolutely perfect job, okay? We went out there, we established the run, we got physical, we punched that team in the mouth, we kept the ball out of Mahomes' hands. Vader Nation, you got to keep it real, okay? Now, okay, we did struggle throwing the football. He was 9 for 21 for 62 yards. But, guys, we also had a lot of drops. A lot of drops. We had about four or five drops, guys, that were key. For sure. For so sure. if you look at that, that would put him at 14, 15. That would make him about 60% completion. You know? He had so, a couple throws that weren't very good either. Yeah, he had a couple bad ones. Oh, he had some that if he would have just connected with them, they could have been touchdown throws. You know? yeah. A couple of those Devontae Adams, man, he was wide open on some of those, and he just overthrew him. And another key thing that I keep coming back to is, yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah, or Dude, behind him. But he's not throwing, him. he's not throwing turnovers. I know. I'd be like, and that in this game, that was crucial. 
Tell me, fellas. Hey, can hey. I can I say one thing though, man? Okay. Like, did you guys see Jimmy G on the sidelines? Can I say, man, I like that guy's like attitude, you know, from being benched to watching him jump up and down the last couple of weeks on the sideline cheering with his team and being there and going over there and congratulating guys. Like, I, you know, hats off to Jimmy G. For, for, oh, for sure. And he, you know, he dealt with it last year too. But hell, give me fucking $25 million and I'll jump up and down on the sideline, slap you on the ass and tell you good fucking job. Yeah, but most guys like that, if they get benched, you know, they're wanting to be gone from another team. They want the trade. Yeah, they want, he's he's you know, been through it before, man. He, yeah. You know, he knows the drill. Yeah. 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 He was no, like no, that no. last year when he got benched. I mean, how long has he been facing that? You know, yeah. ever every since they drafted uh, Trey Lance. Yeah. I mean, pretty much every year he's been in the NFL. I don't think he's completed but one whole full season. That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, like, he's been hurt a lot. But I mean, no, guys, it, it, it's kind of a unique, right? So now we're talking about, hey guys, we have, we we see a lot of potential in our team. I mean, like, obviously, yo, this game was an exciting game, a big game for Raider Nation. So Val, can you give out a game ball? Who's your game ball going to go to? Mm, Joan. Jack Jones. Jack Jones? Who? Jack Jones? Who? <laughs> Game ball! <laughs> I was impressed that he was able to get another pick. And you should have seen me. I was yelling. I mean, my niece is seven months old. staring at me like, this is why I don't like her. But she was, like, giving me that stare. And I'm jumping up and down. And I'm, like, screaming. And then I'm just like, oh, you know, you should see the last game. Oh, this is on repeat. Like, I was jumping. And, um, I mean, I didn't even know I could jump that high. No, I got you. I was in the same boat. Yo, I, Tony B. Man. Game ball. I give the game ball to the defense. Like, if I can cut it up and give it to anybody that stepped on the defensive side of the ball. I have absolutely no complaints from none of the positions. Even when they did make the mistakes, they they you know it was it it's mis- you're gonna make mistakes. It's hard to play a perfect game of football, but damn, I felt like it'd be hard 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 for me to find something that I could really point out that I went well. Sh- damn, you know, like here we go. Like I was I was so at ease. The defense has to get it. Like everybody in the defense gets it. I got you. All right. All in. Man, I'm going to go Zeus, man. Oh. You know, without, with, you know, without his efforts, you know, we, we may get the ball back to Patty. No, no. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Patty B, game ball. Oh, man. I was waiting for somebody to say it, but nobody said it. It'd be Malcolm Coombs, man. Ooh. That dude stepped up the last couple of weeks, man, and he has been playing lights out on that other end, man. And if it wasn't for him, I mean, I don't, I don't know if our defense plays as good as they've been playing. Hey, Will, yeah. no. hey, Will real quick. We, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. talking about Zeus. Someone, someone brought up the running game going to be the key to this win. Do you remember who that happened to be? All of us. If you go back and look. <laughs> I said, Josh Jacob, you said, that's the obvious one. I said, Zeus going to come through. Like, it's going to be the running yeah. game. Zeus, you did. You hey. did. You hey. did. How about giving it to you? I was thinking, yeah, I forgot because I thought I thought up all the way up to the last minute was uh, Josh Jacobs going to be running. So I wasn't too worried about it. I'll screenshot the message. No, no, you, you can do it. Yay. That's so, it. hey, so I got this. Hey. I am with Tony B. My game ball <laughs> goes to the Misfit Cartel, baby. And that defensive line, that whole defensive squad was out there killing it. Kill. I mean, if it wasn't for them boys out there, hey, I don't know where we'd be right now, but I'm telling you right now, the Misfit Army, the Misfit Cartel, we are here, and we are loud, and we are making it happen Let's on go. defense, baby. Straight up. 
So that's where my game ball goes to. All right, guys, let's move forward in our show. So, guys, let me ask Maddie B. Let me start right here, right here. Hey, did AP just win the job as the head coach of your Las Vegas Raiders? Like I said last week and uh, about two, maybe three weeks ago as well, that he wins against Kansas City. That's a big game, you know. And, I mean, he came in. He he made a statement game with the Chargers. He made the two the two games against the, the, the New York teams, you know. Um, he's – and like I said, if he beats Kansas City, that's a, that's the biggest game we needed. And if we if we didn't beat Kansas City, our our chances of making the playoffs or even sniffing the playoffs were slim to none. Um, so yeah, I mean, in my book, he did it, and I think they're gonna play their they're gonna play their hearts out the last two games, and I I see it in their their team. I think the offense steps up, and I think he makes those changes because he's every week he's made changes to everything that we have much failed in the last the weeks before, you know. So uh in my book, yeah, I think he deserves a chance and I think they should take All in. Yeah, for sure. You know, from the gate I said he needed to he needed to hover five hundred in my opinion to get the job. He had to go four and five or five and four. Now he's put he's got the potential to go six and three with a win in Kansas City. It's uh I'm not gonna lie though, I was I, after after Minnesota and that performance coming off of uh, two weeks, I was like, he ain't the one. This, he had two weeks, and that's what we got. Mm-hmm. But, uh, no, I, I think I'm going to stick with it, man. I think with the, with the record that he'll have at the end of this deal and that Kansas City win, he he should be the coach. And that's who the players want, man. I don't think, I don't think Mark's going to risk uh, a 2021 all over again where the players wanted Rich and – and uh, he went with Josh. Yep. Okay. Hey, Tony B. I say he's got it. I mean, he won it with this that win. That was a a a career saving win, if you will, or you know, for him in the Raiders organization. I say because. Uh, a 500, like we was just, I think he was just saying, all I was saying about a 500 record would have been perfect to maintain. I want to see what he can do with the team. And now, with a win like that, that's such a statement that, you know, got me out there with my, you know, just ordered a pair of black Air Force Ones. I'm ready to go. I'm like, I'm on board. <laughs> I'm going to be rocking my stuff, so. I'll be ready to go, and I'll be riding this thing all the way through. So he he, he definitely got this. I think I think he'll be there, like he said too. Also, because you don't want to 2021 again. So yes, sir. And all the right. biggest thing he's doing, man, is he said it. He he created a culture. He created yeah. an identity. We yeah. have not had that. And I can't. I mean, maybe since 2001, 2002, we haven't had that. No, I, I agree with you 100%. I, 100%. Val, did AP just win the job being your head coach, the Las Vegas Raiders? I think after after this game, he definitely put a dent and an impression um, to Mark, uh, showing him that he does have potential I mean, because they they the last two games they have played hard. They have enjoyed the game. They they are playing for a coach they want to play for. You know, they're coming together. Um, you see different players coming out now. It's I mean, I think I think we've got something here. So I, I think I, I'm hoping and I think that Mark's gonna hold on to him. He'd be stupid not to, especially after this big win and how well our defense played. So, yeah, I got you guys. Guys, I'm going to tell you guys right here. Okay. What are we waiting on? Right now, AP, you just sealed the deal. I'm going to tell you guys why. Guys, we've been looking for a coach 
And on my resume right now, it says I can beat the Chiefs. I can beat good teams. Guys, he took over the team after not having any trade deadline, okay? So they're, they're, they're after the trade deadline, he couldn't trade for anyone. He said, I'm going to vouch for Jack Jones. Who? Jack Jones? Who? <laughs> I got you. That's what he said. I want that kid. I can control him. Now Val's going, Jack Jones who? Jack Jones who? Two games in a row for pick six in the tutties, baby. We He's starting to collect those up on a daily basis. Okay? He did that. He's the guy that vouched for that. Him and Champ Kelly in my book right now have done all the right moves, have created a culture. Okay? It's just like all in set. Now, you can see what it is to be a Raider. Okay? You, hey, when you see AP get up there and he said, I'm born to be a Raider, at first it hit me at my core. But now it's shaking me down to my boots, baby. Because I'm telling you right now, that dude got our dudes playing. Okay? Massive improvements across the board. We talked about it last podcast. Guys, I said Malcolm Koontz, he's going to come on. Malcolm Koontz now is in a freaking nightmare for our pet offenses. Okay? We've got guys all the way across the board that are playing for him. So in my book, okay, the Raiders are trailblazers. Okay? That's the Rooney rule. We don't need the Rooney rule. We're the Raiders. Just sign them and it's not make the it happen. Rooney rule. It should be the Davis rule. <laughs> it should be the Davis rule because <laughs> we's the first one to hire minorities. It wasn't Art Rooney. Yes. Yeah. So, but I'd be like, hey, let's figure out a way to bypass that. Get this dude signed. Give him some sort of stability. Give Champ a chance. They deserve this much. Okay, they're giving Raider Nation that much hope. AP, in my book, you got the job, baby. So, guys, now we are seven and eight. So, we are in the thick of it. We're starting to move up. There's playoff hopes. We're at 12%, baby. So, you're telling me we got a chance, right? You guys. Um, or did you guys see his uh, post game interview like before he went off the field? It was so genuine. I was staring at the TV. Oh, yeah. And, when he, yeah. After the game. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so genuine. And you could see his feelings even before she pointed it out. You could see his emotions and how much this meant and how happy he was and just how proud. Um, I think that's the thing that I that I noticed was yeah he's excited happy and just like wow like we won this game but you could see that he was proud that we won this game that the guys did it you know and I love the emotion because it it can't he couldn't hide it yeah you know he he's holding it back but I mean it was very clear and even before the game officially ended you could still see the emotion. I mean, I was watching him every time they put the camera on him. I was just like observing him and his, you know, his movements and his face, his facial movements. And you could just see like this game just really, it did it for him. Like he was, you could just tell he is all in to this team. Yeah. And you know what? Another thing that caught my attention, guys, and I don't know. Like Cody B saw this as well, or, or if anybody else saw this, hey, at the end of the game, Max Crosby comes up to him and gives him a hug. All these players are coming up to AP and showing him love. Guys, the, the atmosphere is totally different. It, it's not like when we had Josh McDaniels. Everybody's coming to work to have fun now. They're not coming to work for a job. Like they did with McDaniel's, they're having fun. They're they're able to have freedom. Um, they've been they said it all game. If you listen to them, they were saying you know the team was allowed freedom in this defense, and look at how they're playing. You know they're allowed to 
do what they want to their abilities. And that's what we needed. We need our guys to play like that. We can't have somebody telling you that don't play football how to how to play football. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta let them play football. That's what they're doing. Right now. No, absolutely. Guys, well, we're gonna said it best. He said, you know, he doesn't have to walk on eggshells to come to work anymore. Yeah. That's true. Huge, huge difference. No, absolutely. And guys, hey, our boy Tony B has to jump off, you know. He has some things he has to catch up on. We thank you for your time, brother. Hey. We're going to move on to the next segment, guys. Way to, way to, like, just the whole game. I was so excited. Perfect, perfect Christmas gift. So. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. All right, Danny, fellas. See you guys later. All right. Later. Later. Tony. Bye. Bye. Right, guys. So now that, you know, we're moving on to the next segment. We started talking about, hey, we're starting to win. We're starting to move up, okay? Guys, what are your expectations if, like, we make it to the playoffs? You know, are we we a playoff team? And if we're a playoff team, okay, first of all, let's say we sneak into the playoffs. I'm going to give you guys two scenarios, and I want your thoughts. Me and Val will be kind of poking questions to see where you guys are going to go with it, okay? But I'm, we're going to give you guys some scenarios here, okay? The first scenario is this. We make it to the playoffs this year, okay? If we make it to the playoffs this year, how far do you think we go? And what's your plan in the off season on how to address our deficiencies, okay? Number two is we don't make it to the playoffs. And... Again, how do you plan on addressing our deficiencies in the offseason? Okay. So we're gonna I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with all in, okay? All in. We make it to the playoffs, okay? How far are we going? And what do you see happening in the offseason and and stuff like that? Yeah, I think. I think we can win a wild card game. Uh, you know, we got to put up some points, though. So. But I think if we if we got in and we went to Miami, I think we got a legit shot at winning that game. Uh, as far as that, I don't know where we'd go after that. Uh, but I think all, all, offensively, the, the offense is going to hurt us once we get in. We got to be able to score some points. And I, th- I think the, the plan offseason – is the same whether you make the playoffs or you don't make the playoffs, right? We got we got the same needs. Uh, it's it's gonna come down to like I said all along, who's the coach, who's the GM, and what are they willing to spend to get a quarterback and fill the other the other holes we have. We got a lot of cap space. Okay, I'm gonna simplify that for you. We got Champ and AP as your coach. Okay. I, I st- man, I, I think our draft position say say we still go nine and eight, and we miss the playoffs or make the playoffs. We're going to be picking sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <clears throat> it is going to cost a lot to get in to that two or three spot to get the quarterback they want. I mean, we went over it earlier. I mean, uh, last year the Panthers gave up. They swapped first round, right? They yeah. gave up. Uh, the 61st pick in that draft, they gave up next year's first pick. They gave up a second in 2025, and they gave up DJ Moore. That's a lot of capital, man. So, it, it, picking there, like you said, it may be best going defensive tackle or a defensive player, best player on the board. Shit, when was the last time we did that? Oh, absolutely. And, so- and finding a guy – that could get us through the next year, maybe two, until we are in a, a better position to draft a guy. I'm I'm all for building a team like John Lynch did, man. Starting the trenches, work your way out. Okay. You know, he got he Jimmy G got them by shit. He got them to a Super Bowl. He's not an elite quarterback. He's not a great quarterback, but he got him to a Super Bowl. So for you, okay, like it's important to see where we're at. To 
Davis. He's yeah, a West the best player ever. Now, um, Matt, what's your thoughts? If we got AP, okay, we said if we make – so he took the option of saying, hey, we made it to the playoffs, right? And he said, hey, he's all in already said it. He thinks we can win maybe one or two. Now I'm going to give you the option. We don't make the playoffs. Okay, if we don't make the playoffs, what – so if we don't make the playoffs, we're going to be what thirteenth? You said something like that, maybe fifteenth, like, right around there. Yeah, well, it depends. Right. I mean, it just depends on do we win the last. I mean, yeah. right now we're thirteenth. Depends on who wins what games, and even if we win, let's say we were to win so out. So four, fourteen team, <clears throat> excuse me, fourteen teams make the playoffs, right? Yeah. So, so we we could be sixteenth if we don't make the playoff. We could be as high as sixteen. Oh, I'm sorry, 18. 18, there's 32 teams. As low as 13, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, okay, so say, 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 for instance, we sit at 13, okay? Okay. Um, and we don't make the playoffs. Okay, we lose out, we don't make the playoffs. Um, I mean, you, if you if you want that quarterback, you're going to have to pay the capital to, to get that quarterback. Now, do we want to – if if we say that we're a quarterback away – then, I mean, you, you work out a deal and you go up and you move up to a certain spot to get that quarterback that you want. Um, now, if you think that you have other positions that you need to fix, um, I'm, I mean, my biggest concern right now is the line. I think our offensive line, uh, we need a lot of, we need a, we have to, I think, honestly, we need a right guard. We need a right tackle. Um, our center, he's all right. I think he can he can do you know Andre James. I'm not I'm not dogging him or docking him on anything. Parham has been better at center. Um, he's definitely he's definitely a better run blocker as compared to a pass blocker. Um, but I mean, as far as if I'm going into the off season, that's my biggest strength. Like you said, you build it from the trenches, and, like that. and that's how you build an elite team. It doesn't matter if you have a good quarterback behind a, a, a good off. If you have a shitty quarterback behind a good offensive line, you will still succeed. You will, you're still going to make that unless you just got a really bad quarterback who has no accuracy and can't throw a fucking ball. But I mean, if you're if you're looking at it that way at pick thirteen, if we think we're a quarterback way, which I don't think we are, I think we have a lot of holes to fill in. Um, and I think. Uh, Sitting at thirteen, I think we go best player on the board, and if we have an offensive lineman there, I think we can walk off the lineman. Yeah, you know what? So Matt brought something up really interesting, guys. So I have a little uh, a little cheat sheet here that I have that I wrote down stuff. Okay, and either way, whether we make it into the playoffs or out of the playoffs, I'd be like in talking with everybody here in the group, you know. I get messages from everyone during the game and stuff like that. I think we can all agree that on these top five things, okay? One, the Raiders need to address the quarterback position in the offseason. We need to figure out who's going to be our guy, right? So I think you guys hit the nail on the head that we have to either look for one if it falls to us or the best guy available. Okay? Two, I put play call. Okay. I feel like our OC, we need to define who it's going to be, whether it's Bo or whoever, and they have to pick their player. Okay. Three, I put O-line. Matt just said why. Okay. And there's three players. <laughs> okay. So, yep, we got some emergency calls going on right now phone i guess but all right guys so i said hey i put o-line i put we need to find out what we're gonna do with josh jacobs what we're gonna have to do with Devonte adams and he just hit the nail on the head he's like we also have to figure out what we're doing with andre james so with all those players in play i think it's a very like, there's a lot to do. And I mean, like, I really feel like the top season, AP, if we give AP and Champ Kelly a chance, okay? 
they can address a lot of these issues. And yeah. a lot of, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut go ahead. No, go ahead. Like, go ahead. But a lot of these, they don't even have to address through the draft. And a lot of these players now, oh, you know, that they see AP and the way he is with the Raiders and the way they're playing for him. That's going to draw them to free agencies or free agents. So when we get into free agency, we're going to have players. And I mean, they may be, you know, they may not be the best of the best in some positions, but we can definitely upgrade because players are going to want to come play for that coach. You don't need the had, best of the best. You don't have the cap for that, but yeah, you can. But I mean, you can get you some can, dogs. You still got ties, you know. And there's players that have ties to Marvin Lewis. There's players that have ties to uh to uh what's his name? Um, they got he got ties to Adam Gase. He got ties to yeah. um, um hey, like the New York coach that he had. Adam Gase. Yeah, I I know I know what you're saying. But what Tom Matt's Coughlin, trying to say, sorry, Tom, Tom Coughlin, Coughlin there he, is, he yeah. got all these connections that guys want to come to play for the Raiders. Guys, I think Matt also just said, hey, the first thing he said is AP. Okay. So I think the first thing we need to address on the offseason is just like Alwyn said too sign the coach. Well, I mean, we, I think he's got it in the bag, but we can't just go right now and say he's our coach. Because, Why? Because we can't. It's, Why? It's because you want to get Doc uh, because, Pat, if you're trying Because to build it's the Raiders and because it's Mark Davis. That's why. No, well, and not only – no, it's it's the – they have to have two minority coaches no matter what that they have to interview outside of their office. And if they don't – No, do I that, thought it was just one. No, it's two. You have to have two two candidates that you have to interview outside of your uh your office, um for a head coaching. You can't just that's that's what they say. Like with John Gruden, like when remember when we they were saying who John Gruden's going to come in. Well, they never did two coaching candidates. They were pissed. Well, I off. thought it was always one. I didn't know it was and two. You got to do two two minority coaches. So I'm going to say it like this. Okay, I get that we, there's rules and we this and that and all this. First of all, the Raiders are known for being trendsetters. Al Davis never gave a hoot about what the NFL said. He did what he wanted, what he thought was best for his organization. Two, who in the world is going to come and be like, dude, we're going to take away draft picks for you signing AP, a minority coach? Roger Goodell. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'd be like, hey, I'd be like, look at it. Just, just look at it in the way that you you're gonna tell. Say, hey, the Rooney Rule was created so minority coaches get the opportunity. But he is a minority coach. He's so a minority. I coach. get that. I get that. But that's not what the rules state. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, that's just what that. That's the only. When was the? Right uh... now, he can't be our head coach. That's the only thing holding us back right now. I, I, Otherwise, I think the, would have came out after the game and said he is my coach from here on out. Know, but I mean, like right now, I think I think Mark Davis is saying it to him. I'm telling you right now. Oh, I guess what I'm saying. I'm, I, 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 Mark Davis is with his cigar and he's like, "What's up, Daddy? Yeah, you, you got the job. You got the job. You got the job. Yeah, he can. He can all day. He can all day. But he can't come out publicly and say you got the job. No, no I got you. Go so, ahead, Ollie. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I when mean, was when was the last time, or has there been? The interim coach who had the interim tag dropped. So who was this is what. So this is league, league league wide. You know, I don't know. Let me look that up. Look let that. me look this up real quick. Yeah, we're gonna look that up and we're gonna come back to that. Val, go ahead, girl. I, I heard you saying something. All I said was "fuck the rules." Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, but the so rules cost the you draft picks. You can't that's really make it happen. Just find the way. I know. But, I mean, you got to give and take. I don't know, you know. I no. would. I, this is probably not smart, but I would give up a draft pick to keep him. Just I, to I be like, like, I think we're going to keep rules. him. We need him, like, you know. Uh, you know thinking strategy or really thinking about it so i don't know if you guys listen but um like i listen to hondo's podcast okay carpenter hondo who does like he follows the raiders and stuff he said he spoke with two gms okay with two gms that told him 
that there is a way for the Raiders to restructure the contracts of Champ Kelly and Antonio Pierce and make them the head coach of the Raiders. So maybe that's what they're looking into. Maybe that maybe they're already. And, and that's <laughs> where I'm like, you know what? I, I would like to see. Because honestly, like I said, that's the first thing we got to address. It's just at, once we make, if we somehow make AP and Champ the coach, people are going to come. Mm -hmm. People are going to come, guys. So, Here, uh, you know, I've, I've always said it was a two man race between AP and Harbaugh. And the, the Harbaugh thing still worries me because him and Mark are buddy buddies. And I'll keep it real. I have zero faith that Mark makes the right decision. Ever. Hey, you know what, though? I, I'm there with you. I just like the moves that he has made recently. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah, naming AP, was, that was the right move. And, and, and I think he feels the way that he did with Rich Bisaccia, you know? And he doesn't want to make the same mistake. And now that he's, dude, I mean, like, let's be real. AP just hasn't, hasn't galvanized the team. He's yeah, galvanized sure. the fan base. Yeah. Like, hey, you don't have to sell me on it, man. I'm I'm on board. I just. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just telling it, It's so amazing because. Yeah, for sure. Like, you see guys posting, like, you know what he goes, red. Inside and, and dude. So what I'm coming up with was the last the last coach to get the from go from intern to the head coach would have been Romeo Cruz in 2011. So with the Browns, right? I believe so. I believe it was the Browns. I'm getting right now. I'm just and he was the. Uh, Yeah, but no, you're right. But again, so there is the possibility. I think if there is the possibility, then we need to find it. And if not, we need to announce it as soon as possible. I mean, like as soon as we get it out. But again, guys, you know, we said hey, AP is going to be the key. Now, we got the Colts game. All in. Give me your keys to victory on how the heck we're going to beat the Colts. Uh, first thing, defense got to keep doing what they're doing, right? Turnovers, definitely. Uh, they got to they got to get the Minshew. Offense has to find a way to put up some points. Yeah, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. I'm, I'm not asking for 35 points, but you got to do better than zero. No, oh, absolutely. So. Hey, what's your keys to victory, brother, for against the Colts? Colts? Keys to victory is going to be our offensive line. They need to step up, play better. Um, the, I think, better quarterback play as well. Um, make sure, you know, get your rhythm. Get in your rhythm like you did with the Chargers. Get in your rhythm like you did with the Giants and the Jets. You know, play smart football. What's crazy is Bo went away from that. Play calling that that quick, boom boom. Let's get let's get Aiden in the rhythm. He went away from that in the Chiefs game. Yep, yeah. He seems to do that. If it works for a game, he fucking throws that game plan in the trash. Yeah, and goes to this. And I think last week, I think I don't think we were gonna beat him with the game la with the air game last week. I just I had that feeling that we weren't gonna just no. throw a ball around on being him. cold and yeah. and. Yeah, so I, I had a feeling it was going to be a run game. You know, it was that's what it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a run game. Our running backs doing most of the work for the team. I mean, but you wrong. can still build a rhythm. I mean, I, I think you can still get the guy in a rhythm. It's, you know, quick passes, man. Just quick three-step drop, boom. Oh, hit for the sure. In, hit the slot. Just get the guy a little bit of confidence. So if he does need to throw that ball downfield. And they – uh. Uh, eleven I, wasn't in the game hardly as much offensively this week. Hey Tucker, yeah, like He's why? No, why? Absolutely. Well, I did, you know I think that's honestly I think to tell you the truth, um, it goes back to 
like Aiden O'Connell, he didn't have the reps like he, you know, in the off season, he wasn't one of those receivers that we were looking at in the off season. I don't think, I think right now he's in more of a sub pack, you know, where he's going to come in and take over for Jacoby Myers or Devontae Adams to kind of draw somebody off. It's not, we're going to, we're going to take Jacoby Myers out or, uh, or Devontae Adams out and replace him with Trey Tucker. We have he, he did have those reps though. He played with all the second teamers, third teamers. Well, yeah, all off season third teamers. But I mean, did he get the quarterback play from you know all the other quarterbacks? I, well, I guess I mean, yeah, I guess he did have the connections with Aiden O'Connell. I guess I mean, he used to say that, yeah. So here, here's well, Aiden, Aiden took most of the uh, preseason snaps. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yep. But here's the thing, okay, guys. Here, here's going to be my one thing. I looked at it, and I said, offensively, we struggle because we go away from what's working. You sent me a message. We had Zeus working. He's pounding the rock. He's pounding the rock. We're moving the chains. And then we start throwing the ball all over the field. Yeah. You can't do that. guys." Three back to back. That one drive, we threw three straight passes. Exactly, like, and it didn't work. What the fuck? To Devonte, the same player over and over and over. It's like we went yeah. right back to the McDaniel's playbook. So again, when you do those things in my book, you have to develop that. You learn that. Okay, as a coach, you have to make those mistakes. But if he's not learning from them, because this is two games we've seen them. That's been happening multiple times. He goes away from what's working. And then it's like, oh shit. Like he comes back to it and it works. So I have no idea why I can't. Have y'all been (laughs) toned? Yep. So, and we just froze up as well. So, guys, can you guys hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. All right. Hmm. Hey, so, guys, we were talking about it. Keep going. Hey, that's why I think all those things we need to look at. I say, hey, you know, oh, man, now I lost train of thought. What were we just, <laughs> we just talking about? Hey, um, real, real quick, back to your uh, go ahead. Uh, with off-season moves that we were talking Um you know, AP when he when when AP came on, you know he he specifically said, you know, when you have guys like Devonte and JJ, and he compared them to you know when when the Raiders had Tim Brown and and the running backs we did back in the day, Charlie Garner and those guys. Um, you, you guys, you guys think he he would move on from either of those guys? Yeah. So I I, I think. Oh, dude, I think that's difficult. I, I think, think the cap hit with Devontae is huge, man. I, I don't know that we could look at taking a almost $25 to $30 million cap hit for Devontae. Yeah. And I, a cap hit is not something you can have a whole team like. like if you, you can't say, hey, you want him bad enough, you're going to have to eat the cap too because that's not the way it works. I don't, think, uh, I, I don't see the scenario being where, where Devontae is gone because I think it'll – it's going to cost us a lot to to ship him. No, no, they they can't hear you right now. Hold on, hey, Bat, Bat's actually hooked it up his uh the other camera getting missed oh, the yeah. papers. So, but here's the thing: I don't think that we can do that. I I, I don't think we can move on from Devonte because the cap hits too big. Plus, honestly, he's such a key player for us that we need him. You know, we, he want, we and he wants to be here. Yep. Now, Josh, Josh is gonna. I mean, even though his yards have been there, uh, you know, he was what lead, he was third rushing just a few weeks ago. Until he got hurt, and then he, uh, Josh is gonna have to give a discount. Man, he can't come at that twelve million dollars a year. No, at twelve. At twelve million, no way, bro. 
There's no way he's yeah. going to come back at 12, but I do think he'll give us a hometown discount. I do think that he'll be like, hey, you know what? Um, there's certain things that are going on that he can be like, yo, I'll cut you on this end, but make it performance based, you know? Right. Make it so. Yeah. You know? And I think a lot of it's going to depend on who the OC is, too. Yeah. I agree with you 100%, man. I mean, like, it, it's all going to be like, hey, Who's going to be there? Who's going to come back? Who's going to be my head coach? Who's going to be the guy in charge and make it happen? I think that matters a lot for... It's huge. You know, everything. For a and everything. So, at the end of the day, like, I, I'm just like, yo, we got to figure that out. And it's like you said, hey, we'll start... We could start there and then move on from wherever... Or like, you know, wherever we got to go from there. But, right. it, you know, um, if you look at it, man, the cap space is too big for this guy. Like, we, we can't. Oh, there we go. Hey, um, hey you guys see us? <laughs> so we got $50 million in cap space, right? Like, it'll be a little more than 50. We're going to have to eat some of that when we cut Jimmy G after yeah. June 1st. Uh I just don't right. – yeah, I just don't see a way they move on from Devontae and that cap number. No, I, I don't either, man, and that's why uh, – back. go ahead, man. You were talking about I don't. That. I don't think Jimmy – or Jimmy G. I don't think uh, Devontae's going to move on this year. I just – I think he wants to play for the Raiders. I don't think he's going to want to – I do, too. Um, I don't I think do it's too. one of those – like, I like if this would have been, like, you know, maybe if McDaniels was still here and we were still playing like shit, I could definitely see him wanting Oh, he's to, gone. Yeah, for sure. Josh you know, is gone. He's if, gone. If we didn't win any games after we fired McDaniels, no, I could see him wanting out, you know, and not wanting to rebuild. Um, hey, I'll be honest. Yeah. If, uh, if, uh, if McDaniels had not gotten fired and he was still the head coach heading into the next year, I could see everybody. Max, Devontae, everybody, JJ, everybody, everybody whole, wants out. Team. Yep. Yep. That's what me and Will were talking about the other day. We talked about that the other day. Like, if we – like, even if we bring in Harbaugh, I think a lot of players are going to want to leave out, you know, and I don't think they're going to want to stay and relearn a whole new playbook after they already had to relearn one through the middle of the season. And I just – I don't I don't see it happening. I think Mark Davis needs to stick with AP in order to keep moving forward and keep the success going. Well, regardless, they're going to have to learn a new playbook because the offense is going to be new. There's well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, as far as – if we were to bring in Harbaugh, he, who's to say he wouldn't get rid of the defensive coordinator? Who's to say he wouldn't get rid of all the other players, you know? And then that's where – that's that's kind of where I was getting at with that. Not necessarily just an offense because I know we got to – I know we're going to have to have a new offensive coordinator. I think that's one of the biggest needs. To be on the coach. Yeah, because Bo is hot garbage. Yeah, he's not very good. And, I mean, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, you know, because at first you know, that, uh... kind of thrown into the mix, kind of didn't know – where he was at or what he was going to be doing, but he took over in the first two games. He looked pretty good. You know, we came out with those two victories and it was, he looked like he was going to be doing something, but then it just kind of stalled out after that, you know, and we lost two. And then we got that new England mentality, man. Yep. Yep. He's got that my way, you know, this is the only way. And he's grown. I mean, he came from new England, so he's got, you know, he's got the. They came from Adam Gase, and then he went to New England. Yeah, well, that explains he's a, everything. He's an Adam Gase prodigy. He's the guy that Adam Gase <laughs> took in under his. Wing. Oh, he's like, yeah, get rid of him. He's like, we're done with he's that. He's an Adam Gase prodigy. He, he went to New England. He's a lost cause. Send that dude back to like <laughs> high school or fucking Pee Wee football. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Oh, he's like, get that dude out of here. That dude is trash. Adam Gates just has that look like you just want to slap the fuck out of that dude. Like, dude, why are you so stupid? <laughs> remember that? You remember the Dolphins interview he had when they were like, yeah. talking to him? Like, 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 the fuck you just oh, say? <laughs> talking to me? Hey, I'll tell you like yeah. this. And Val will agree with me. He didn't look as stupid as Josh McDaniels in some of his interviews. Okay. I'm going to tell you like this. Right, be- Val? Yeah. <laughs> like, she's like, we should we should just make that a forbidden name, you know, kind of like number oh, two. Fuck up, bro, <laughs> that that dude is. Well, uh, I'm just like man, and that's who like that's one of the cats. AP brought into the building. 
like, whoa. And then we came out and played like we did against Minnesota. I'm like, fuck, that's the Adam Gase curse. Yeah, you ain't lying. But you know what? I'll be like, we're we're starting to turn it around. We've got wins. I mean, like, at the end of the day, we got the W. I know our yeah. offense isn't there. I, I, I'm going to hey, tell that's you. Why, uh, that's why I always said, man, if AP hovered, you know, he can't, he can't go 500, obviously, because there's nine games. But if he was four and five or five and four in a system – that's not his offensively. Players that aren't aren't his. Exactly. Get the man that's, the job. That's what that's I'm saying. Why. What are we waiting for? Bro, what yeah. is right? Like Raider Nation is waiting on pins and needles right now for us yeah. to I don't think they're waiting on pins. pins and needles. I think everybody knows the answer. They're just they can't say anything. It's just you, you, I, I don't think I don't think Mark Davis is gonna risk the fucking draft picks. Bro, okay, I, you know. No, and I think we just need to get through these last two. It needs to not be the focus right now. We need to get hey, through the last two games, man. They need to win these last two games. Yeah, I was going to say, if we and win then, the last two games, fucking say it. You know, whatever. Go into the offseason well, with no, fucking, I, hey, yeah, this yeah, is my coach. You know, I, I can see that. I, and I get to see what you guys are saying, too. I mean, like, yo, wait till the end of the season. Run through the right hoops. Do it the right way. So that way, there's no issue. Yeah, then there's no bitching about, oh, this guy did that, this guy did that. No, we're going to hold And we can say to AP, hey, the job is yours, but I got to do shit right. right. Yeah, and that's exactly what I think he's telling him on the side. I think that's exactly what he's telling him. I like, hey, it's that. your job. You just, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep playing the way you're playing. You, you, you're going in the right direction, and the fans love you, the team players, everybody's vouching for you. And you got these guys rallying around every every game so far, even if you're not scoring you're still rallied up. Yep. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, you know, have a coach like to meet you in the locker room after a game. You know, stand there at the door and greet people as they're coming Bro, in and congratulating them on their wins different. and their victories. Like, when have you ever seen a coach do that? Hey, that's way different. Right. They're like, he's that. That is almost collegiate, like. But I'm telling you, the guys are responding in the locker room. They like. Well, where him. did he come from? High school and college. But you know what? <laughs> He's also a player. Exactly. So he understands how to engage them. How to like exactly. make them like want to be there. Right. It sounds like you got a squirrel over there. How about it? He goes speak toy. <laughs> no, I, th- I thought that was Chit Show Joe trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> After all the screaming. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, let's move on to the next segment of our show. We're going to do the pick em challenge. Hey, can you bring up the this week's game? Yes, sir. Hey, how'd you do in last week's pick em challenge, all in? Uh, 13 and 4. Oh, that is big. About 111 and 5. <laughs> and five. Okay, okay. We can see what got happened this week. You know, we'll catch up with the rest of the fellas at the, our, after the break. Here, yeah, let's see, let's see. Right. Week 17. Week 17, starting with Thursday, tomorrow night. Looks like we got Jets and the Browns at the Browns. Who do you got, all in? Oh, Browns. Val, pick one. I'm, mm, I'm going to think maybe the class will be half full. I'm going to say maybe the Jets. I'm with, I, I am with Val. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. We need this win. Let's go, Jets. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> Whatever my team needs it to be, because we need these brownies to lose to get into the playoffs, baby. Hey, go ahead. That'd be you. Who do you got? And I got New York in this one because I need them to lose. Just in case we don't win, I need the Browns to lose. So, all right. Well, there's no way if we don't if we don't win, we're done. We we have to win out. That's one of the scenarios. Yeah, we have to win out. Okay, well, we so win if, out. We, if Browns, we lose, Browns, we're, Browns we're, gotta lose. Browns gotta lose. Browns three. gotta lose three. They can so, only lose no, two. That, that's what yeah, I said. I think Browns gotta lose three or Browns. And that kind of puts us like it all depends within the division and everything because it all depends with Chiefs too. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know the Chiefs could take the Browns because well, the Chiefs would take the seven seed if we end up getting the division. 
they would take the seventh seed because they have a better right. record. Right now, the Browns are the fifth seed. Right now, they're the fifth yep. seed, yeah. But, yeah. oh, yeah, so they'd be the fifth seed. But if the Browns were to lose out, even these last two games, they would still have a spot at number seven. And yeah. So, because they have a 10 and five record right now. So they. That fucking defense are, is just nasty. Yep. Yeah. I agree. And so, they got mediocre quarterback. I mean, Joe Flacco is playing ball. Bro, Joe Flacco ain't no slouch-o. Oh. He ain't no slouch right now. That dude is whipping it. Hey. For sure. So we got Saturday, December 30th. We got Detroit Lions at the Dallas Cowboys. Go ahead, Val. Go ahead, Val. Lions, I can't stand the Cowboys. Hey, I like it. I like it. Go ahead, all in. Man, I like the Lions, but I think the Cowboys, they're back home. The Lions are riding high from winning the division. I think they slip up. The Cowboys get them. Ooh. Hey, Matt. Fuck the Cowboys. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Fuck the Cowboys. You, and, and you know what? I'm actually going to go opposite of all in and say the Lions win it because they come in more confident. And they don't overlook the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are overlooking the Lions. I, 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 that, that, that's where I'm okay. looking at it there, okay? All right. The Cowboys are dogs at home, though. That's another thing, too, man. They ball at home. Yep. I'd be like, a lot of teams ball at home, but I'm, I'm just telling you, I feel like that. I feel like everybody <laughs> looks at the Lions and they're that like. That one game, they don't ball at home. And you know what? It would be quiet. Me going into work, it'll be nice and quiet. I'll have to listen to them. <laughs> yeah, I, I want Detroit to win, but I think I think Dallas gets it done. All right, all right, all right. Next game, uh, we got Dolphins at the Ravens. That's a game. Go ahead, Olive. Uh, give me the Ravens. Now, Ravens. Matt? Uh, all right, I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going Miami in this game. I think Miami is fighting for the number one seed at the end of the year. Wow. So I'm, I'm actually going to go. I think they can get it, can they? They can. They're 11 and 4 right now. Ravens are 12 and 3. Yeah, they're all. And like... then the Ravens got to play the. Uh, uh, yeah, but the Ravens, uh, even if the Ravens lose out, yeah, I guess they could. They could tie. Yeah. Well, the the Dolphins can still get the number one seed. I was watching; they they were saying something about it yesterday. So they, I think, the Ravens have to lose out, and then other oh, the Lions would oh. have to lose, and then they could take or uh, not the Lions. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the NFC. Um, the uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Niners. No, because they're a- NFC. That would have to be the Niners because they're NFC. It's AFC. So Baltimore's one, Miami's two, and Kansas City is three. Yeah, and maybe the it was Kansas and four. Maybe it was Kansas City. So if Kansas City loses out, the Ravens. No, they got, said yeah, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas City, City had to win. Kansas City had to win yesterday in order for that scenario to happen. So Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas so City now, can't. Kansas City can't, can't get the one at all. They can't get the one at all. So the it's between the Lion or the Dolphins and the Ravens. And if the Dolphins win and the Ravens lose the last week, the Dolphins take the number one seed. So the Dolphins have to win out the last two. The Ravens would have to lose their last two. Yeah, Jim Harbaugh. Ain't, ain't, and, or yeah. John Harbaugh, sorry. The yeah. Ravens are winning that game. They're, so I'm with you guys. I like the Ravens. And I'm going to tell you right now, Lamar Jackson is the MVP of the league. 100%. And uh, in my opinion, the way they came in and stomped San Francisco, they're the best team in the league. Dude, hands down. Hands that down. That defense is nutty. Yep. So, I, I, I'm taking the Ravens. Hey, isn't it week uh, week 18, Ravens and Browns? That might be the game of the week next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so next we got uh, Patriots at the Bills. Now sure. go ahead. I'm pretty sure everybody's got this one. Bills. 
Oh, yeah, man. I think that needs to be said. Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Bills Mafia, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just picking the Bills. <laughs> They're going Bills. Hey, Bills Mafia are some good people, though, man. We partied with them. They're some solid people up there. Oh, that's good. Hey, we're going to have to make a trip up there. Up there. Say, Dude, up? I'm telling you, it. it's a good damn time. Yeah. Me and Adrian will fucking go with you guys. Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right. All right. Next up, we got the uh, Atlanta Falcons at the Chicago Bears. Ooh. The seven and eight Falcons against the six and nine Bears. Matt, you're up first. Matt's up first. All right. <laughs> um, Where's that game at? Man, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the Bears on this. I think I'm going to take the Bears on this team. It's it's at the Bears. It's sta- at the Bears Stadium. It's in Chicago. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing. It's an outdoor game. It's cold. And the dirty birds, they don't like to fly north, bro. Mm -hmm. Not during the winter. So, hey, Val, your turn, girl. I'm agreeing with you. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, the bears don't like to get out that cute. Hey. Bears don't like wintertime either, man. I'm just letting you know. Just those kind of bears. It's like (laughs) cold. <laughs> Yo, the bears. The the bears. Bears. I think Fields too. He's on a uh, he, he's on a, a league wide tryout, so to speak. Oh, yeah, I know. I agree. All right, everybody went bears on that one, huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. Next, next we got a uh, Tennessee Titans at the Texans. I'll root for the Titans. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to hear it at work. I got the Titans. Go ahead, all in. Who's playing quarterback for Texas? So that right now, they I just heard this this morning that uh, Stroud was in concussion protocol the last two days. You got to make a full week of like certain. Damn, he still he like got that. fucked up. So he's still well, on we need the- protocol as of today. But he we need the start. Titans to win, so go Titans. So, I'm with you guys. I got Tennessee on this one. Let's and they almost beat them two weeks ago. Let's tighten up. We're all together on this boat. Ah, I like shoot. All right. Next up, baby, we got the Las Vegas Raiders against the fucking Indianapolis Colts. Well, that's a given. Go ahead, Val. <laughs> Raiders, bitch. <laughs> All in. Raiders, bitch. Maddie B. Raiders, bitch. <laughs> Raiders, bitch. Hell yeah. Clean sweep. Fuck the Colts. Yep. Okay. Where's Joe? His voice is gone. <laughs> Who's next? So we got uh, the Carolina Panthers at Jacksonville Jaguars. That's a shitty game. Yeah, I know. So, hey, Matt, go ahead. Uh, I'll take this one and I'll go with. Uh, I'm going to take Jacksonville on this one. I'm going to take Las Panteras in an upset against the Jags because I need the Jags to lose. Go ahead, Owen. Yeah, I'm going to go Jags. Val? Jags. She says Jags. Bags. (laughs) 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 All right. All right, all right. Rams at Giants. Owen? Rams. Rams. Val? Rams. Rams. Man, you know what? I think I'm going to take an upset on this one. I'm going to go New York on this one. They played ah. They played pretty good last week. I, what happened at the end of that game that DeVito was not in? I don't know. I, I was slipping back and forth between the Laker game and that game. 
and I switched back and Tyrod was I in, so I don't know. Vito was throwing interceptions, or you got a fucking. Yeah, I don't think he was playing very well. Uh, I think it was because he wasn't playing very well. If not, it was because he had like a strain or something like that, and they pulled him. Okay. So now we got Arizona and Philadelphia. Go ahead, Val. Philadelphia. All in. Philly. Maddie B. You know, I'd like to say the Cardinals because the Eagles are looking like they're not looking very good. No, you never um, know. But they don't. And the Cardinals have upset some teams this year. They have. They've, they have done it, you know. So, I mean, uh, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles are fighting for that number one seed. So, yeah, give me Philly. And I really want to go for the Cardinals. Where's that game at? It's in it's Philly. In Philly. So that's, I'm a, that's the reason yeah. why I'm going for the Philadelphia Eagles. I, I'm going to go Philly, too. I just think Philly is the same thing. You're playing at, in the cold. You're playing outside. Arizona plays in a dome. They're inside. Yeah, in the Philly's desert. got two weeks to figure it out, too. They went from the number one seed to the number two. Yep. I mean, they got no shot of getting a, a, a first-round buy. They got to figure this out. No, you're right. Yeah. So hey, now we got Saints-Bucks. Uh, Ooh. this is, this is going to be a good one. Is, uh, go ahead, go ahead Batty B. It's a divisional game right here. This could be, uh, Saints lose. They ain't got a shot at even making the playoffs, I don't think. Nope. Um, no, Saints lose. I mean, they, this is for the division. This is for their yeah. division. So whoever wins this division is the one that's going into the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. And um, right now it's a two-way tie between, uh, Atlanta and Tampa. It's in Atlanta, yeah. Um, and you know what? I, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay on this one. I think they come in, and I think they eliminate New Orleans. So, hey, I'm a, I'm a, before I make my pick, I'm going to drop a little fact for you, okay? I'm going to go with the quarterback that has the same stats that Russell Wilson just got benched, or he has better stats than this guy, all right? I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. Baker Mayfield has the – Dude, he has the same stats as Russell Wilson, and the Broncos have just benched Russell Wilson. Well, here's the thing. Baker makes a fraction of the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. Go ahead, Val. Hey, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have been mad if we picked up Baker in the offseason over Jimmy. Hey, I wouldn't have been mad either. But, shoot. Obviously, our coach didn't have that in mind. <laughs> hey, his his swag kind of fits our locker room too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's a free agent this year. So whoa, whoa. You guys he is. Yeah, we'll have to look. He at is. It. Do you need some free agents in that 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 uh, that quarterback room we got? Yep. Yeah, he's a starter though. Oh, I agree. Yo, Val, go ahead, girl. Hmm. Bucks. Bucks. All right. She got the Bucks. Let's go. Yeah. All in, you got Bucks too? Yeah. Okay. It's like we got San Francisco at the Commanders. The Redskins. The Reds. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Redskins. <laughs> Don't make me fly up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Not a white team. Hey. <laughs> San Fran. You got Matt. Oh, I got San Fran. All in? Oh, yeah, they're pissed off. <laughs> Val. I feel bad. I feel bad for Washington. Oh, yeah, dude. They're about to get whooped. <laughs> <laughs> they're about yeah. to get whooped. Yeah, I hate to be in the NFC right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Val. I'm going to say San Fran. I, I'm going to tell you like this. Whoever the quarterback is there, woo, baby, Chase Young, he coming. He coming, baby. Make sure you got that injury check in the mail. That's in Washington, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. Hey, he's, hey, he's coming home. He's going he's gonna to prove a point. Yeah. yeah. I you forgot about that, about that. Yeah, no. Oh, bro, he he's going to eat them Good alive. Call. Yeah, he's going to feast. Either that or the commanders come out with like just badass. <laughs> you're right, you're right. 
Hey, let's go uh, Steelers, Seahawks, all in. Well, we need to – well, the Steelers have already lost twice, so that, that's already helped us there. Uh, you know what's funny, though? That's a pretty that, good game. That game right oh. there, the Steelers still have a chance in their division, to like the same with us. If the Browns lose out and the Steelers win out, they can still win. Division. <laughs> no, they can't because Baltimore is the division leader. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Baltimore is the division. I forgot they're in their division. Yep, yeah, never mind. Never yeah. mind. I'm yeah, yeah. dumb. Stupid. <laughs> Cross that out. Don't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know much. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, and Seattle. Seattle's you, fighting for a spot. I think Seattle wins. You got Seattle all in. Now, yeah. who do you got, girl? The Squealers. Shoot, we need the squealers to lose, so I got the sea chickens. Yeah. Let's go, sea chickens. Let's go, caca. That's <laughs> 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 just caca. So we got the sea chickens three to one. Let's go. All right, man. Hey, the next game we got is the Thunderbolts and the Donkos. That's the worst game of the week. Yep. But, Val, go ahead, girl. Who do you got? Mm. Ellen, you go first. <laughs> no, he said Val. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, go ahead. You need to get a Coach Prime button that ain't nobody care, because, goddamn, <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> fucking care. Damn. Everybody gets a win on that one, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Uh, uh. LA didn't. LA wasn't terrible against the Bills on Saturday night. No, I say I say that the Chargers get them. All right, I'll go. I'll go next. I'll go next. Yo, just because I hate the Broncos, let's go Bolts. Let's go. And I mean, like, I'm a. Hey, that helps us. That Don't helps do that. Us. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, like I, I, I think, I think the next team I hate that. would be the Broncos after <laughs> the Chiefs. Right <laughs> I, I, I need, I, we need the Bolts to win. Okay, mm-hmm. but don't, don't do what you just did. That's just as bad as I don't even they, know what that is. I thought that was like, isn't this an archery move? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, or it was a, a um, <laughs> or it was a special Heisman pose. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah. Chargers Heisman pose. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're the Chargers. The Chargers. Give it. Damn it! Oh man! Wow, going to hell. <laughs> no, it's all right. It was a Chargers joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even Jesus likes the Chargers. <laughs> all right all right so we got oh shit man fuck both teams um bangles no i still gotta pick mine oh wait oh did you... i thought I you did the broncos are gonna win that game but i think the chargers go give me chargers yeah you did pick the chargers all right oh, yeah. so we got bangles chiefs Bengals. Oh. All in? That's a tough one, man, because I mean, we all love the Chiefs to lose, right? But Cincinnati, we need one more loss out of Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, I think... Maybe a tie. There you go. Let's let's no, go for a tie, a tie fucks us actually. Uh. Well, I don't know what you want me to say, Alan. <laughs> yeah. Make a decision, Alan. No, actually, yeah. technically yeah. a tie wouldn't win because if you if we finished out, oh, I guess it would. It would be a half win, huh? Yeah, they'd yeah. have a half win. Yeah, a tie, is, a tie would be in favor of the Chiefs. Yeah, it would yeah. be a half a win. So, what, who, who do, so I, I'm going to just say, hey, like she said, no Bengals right now. It, yeah. it has to be. I'm like, we – you got to win the division. You should do your dumb Heisman post. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that was his kitty cat. Matt, who are you going with? <laughs> 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 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> you do that so well. <laughs> Don't ask him how. That's fucking funny. God damn it. Who you got, Matt? (laughs) Somebody's got to get the circus back on track. I got Cincinnati on that one. (laughs) Bingo. You did the rest of the chat. Like, come on. Damn it, man. You gotta do the rest of the chat like that. Like, uh... God damn it. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys. Think, uh... You want offense? <laughs> God damn it. I think KC wins that game, man. KC. I'm done with you. All right. Well, Matt, bring out the tape. Thank you guys. No, my wife's in the other room. Like, what the fuck is going what on? What the in fuck here? are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Oh, all right. Last game. Looks like we got the Packers and the Vikings at the Vikings. Packers. Oh, it wasn't my. T- Sorry. No, 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 you're not a girl. You're good. Yeah, Do the Packers still have a show in the playoffs? Uh, they're both seven and eight. Um, oh. Their division. Let's see who's in their division. It's the Packers. The Lions. Lions they won the division. No, they won't. I don't think so. To get a wild card. Oh. Hmm. I think the Vikings are actually in the wild card spot right now in the NFC. Yeah, I think Minnesota gets it done. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I think I got Minnesota with that one. Packers! <laughs> no, I, yeah, movie. What, um, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, it's more like, you ever seen tro- uh, Tropic Thunder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have not. <laughs> oh, my God. Simple Jack. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Well, do, 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 do. Before this thing gets out of control here, all right, we want to yeah, thank you guys for listening. Make sure you guys click like, click subscribe, please share. Guys, if there's anything you guys have right now, we have open format. If uh, you guys know anything going on, let us know. If not, hey. Are we good? See, man. We're good. Let's get that win. Yeah, let's, let's get this win let's this go. Hey, this weekend and let's get ready for the playoffs, baby. Let's so yeah. hey, again, it's all Raiders all the time. It's all about one team, one nation. Raiders. Hey. Let's go, baby. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much.